In this video, I will demonstrate how to set up a data correction schema based on an existing database table and use it in your Tableau dashboard. As you can see, I already added my existing table to my Tableau worksheet here. And the first thing we need to do is connect this table to Rybic Extreme. So here in Rybic Extreme, we go to Schemas and then hit New and then select Data Correction and select Use an Existing Schema. Second step is select the database you want to connect to. In my case, that's a MySQL database. And here I have a list of all my tables in my uh, database. And for this example, we will use the WPE Data Helper Scenarios. Here I can see all the fields that are in the table. They are automatically detected. Then I hit create schema and it is connected. So when we go to schema here, we can see the data correction on WBE data helper scenarios. Now we head over to Tableau and create a dashboard. So we drag our sheet onto it and then our extension. And I want to access my local extensions. And I have the T-Rex file here. And when you don't have the T-Rex file, you can just download it here in the management console. Okay, it asks for user authentication. And for user authentication, we need to create a new sheet with the username. Let's create a calculated field called username. And we call the username function. So then the extension knows uh, which user is using the extension. So we drag the username uh, to detail. And then oh, let's, let's call the sheet username. And we also drag it to our dashboard, but we are not using it. So let's set it in the corner and make it one by one pixel. So everyone doesn't see it. Now we select our user sheets and the column username, hit next. And now it's a, a, it automatically detects the username uh, of my Tableau instance. I only need to give the password and then I'm logged in. So here we push the start configure button Add a schema, let's give it a title. Let's call it data correction. And here we have uh, the WBE data helper scenario. That's the schema I created. And I want to connect to the schema data helper data, data, helper data. And the relationship should be a, a one to one relation and it's the ID field, that's the unique field uh, to identify this record. So we are using this one. Then hit save. And let's reload the extension. And when we select a mark, then we can see all data for this mark. But this table is a bit long, so we can tweak that a little bit in the extension configuration. So go to Worksheet Schema and then Form Builder. And for my example, uh, I want to lose all other months except for January and February. And let's deselect those as well. So then it looks a lot clearer. Okay, so now we see we have a lot of uh, fields removed and maybe another setup is better. So uh, let's not have it horizontal, but vertical. So we'll use the vertical layout. Okay, so now we have a vertical layout and when, when we click a, a mark in our sheet, then we see the data is changed. What would be nice is that uh, when we change values here, that the, uh, the sheet will automatically uh, refresh. 
You can also do that in the configuration. So here on worksheet schema, we can say the data sources of this schema should be refreshed and we want it to refresh on save. So here we do save. And let's say for this scenario, we want January to be uh, 20. 35,000 and let's hit save. Then the data will be stored and Tableau will refresh the sheet. So that's the, an example of data correction in Rideback Extreme.